Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the US. And today we're gonna do a quick test to see if the aluminum foil mod actually works on the Phantom. Um, some of you guys have been taking a little bit of aluminum foil and putting it up against the backing where the GPS foam is added uh, to hold your GPS in place inside the Phantom shell. So we're gonna do a flight test first to see how many satellites we can get loaded uh, without the aluminum foil and then the next test we'll do it with the aluminum foil and we're gonna fly the rest of this week with the aluminum foil and do some tethered tests just to make sure that uh, it indeed doesn't affect any of the other electronics inside the Phantom so um, when you're making any mods just be sure that if you if you do change anything architecturally um, it can void the warranty so just be careful when you're making too many changes inside the uh, the Phantom. So let's give it a shot. Let's uh, let's go out to the field and see how it loads up, how many satellites we get, and we'll come back inside. We'll add our aluminum foil, and then we'll go out and do a second test, and we'll A and B them, see what's what. Okay guys, here we are at the field and we're gonna do our test now without the aluminum foil. So this is a standard stock setup with the Phantom Vision Plus and no aluminum foil inside the canopy. So we're gonna let the satellites load for a second. We're gonna get the Wi-Fi on the iPad. The Wi-Fi appears to have loaded. So we'll go ahead and go into the app and we'll go into the camera. And we'll really quickly just show you where we're at. Right now we're at six satellites. So this is after about 20 seconds to 30 seconds of waiting for satellites to load. Around the 45 second mark to one minute mark, we'll just call it. It looks like we got six right now, so. and we're staying at six. So let's go inside now, add our aluminum foil, put the shell top back on and we'll come back outside and do a second test. We did get up to seven, so that's good. That's good enough to go fly. So let's go inside real quick and do the aluminum foil setup and then we'll come right back. Okay guys, so now we're back in the studio and we're gonna take the Phantom shell off real quick and we're gonna show you where we put the aluminum foil on. Also, just to let you know, when you're taking the top of the Phantom off, you only need to remove the frame screws. And the frame screws are here, here, and here, and the one on the end. You, don't, you do not need to loosen the motor screws, so no, no worries there, just keep those on. We're just gonna take the top of the shell off. So now we have a piece of aluminum foil and we've doubled it over once. And now we can kind of measure by holding it over top of the GPS unit where we need to cut. So we'll take our scissors and just cut out a square that looks relevant to where we're gonna put it down. Drop that down inside, it looks like it'll fit nicely. So we'll go ahead and cut the other side. And we're just gonna use one layer of aluminum. Some people can double it up if they like. We're just gonna use one layer to see how that works. It's gonna keep it simple. Okay, so we'll, we're gonna fit this in here, right over top of the shield to make the new shielding. We decided to use a little bit of hot glue to glue down our aluminum foil. This is something what yours should look like when you get it finished. And you want to have this cable hang out the back end of the Phantom frame. You can tell by looking at the front where the stickers are. So this will come out the back and run the wire along the inside of the aluminum foil and just enough room on the bottom to stick out and plug back in. So when you're putting the Phantom frame on, you're not going to have a lot of room to plug this in. So you want to make sure that this is well seated inside the GPS to the frame. So 
pay close attention when you're plugging it in. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna put the frame back on and we're gonna go out to the field and see what we get for satellites. Okay, so we waited another minute. And now it looks like we have eight satellites total. So this is definitely a little better than what we had before. One satellite more. I don't know if it's worth adding the aluminum foil to your Phantom or not, um, but it's definitely given us one more satellite. And it's, it's kind of bouncing in between seven and eight right now. So um, I'm not sure that this is a, this is a mod that's, that's really gonna help you or not, but it seems to be helping some people. So it looks like it definitely gave us eight satellites. Um, and it's bouncing back and forth between six, seven, and eight. So it also depends on the day, the clouds, um, maybe where the satellites are at in relation to your Phantom. But we're definitely getting seven to eight with the aluminum foil. So it might be worth your while. Give it a shot and see what happens. Let us know how yours does. So that's it for the aluminum foil test. And it looks like it does prove to be more beneficial for you to have the aluminum foil shielding inside the Phantom. Uh, we did a test with it and without it. With it, we got around eight satellites max. Uh, without it, we got seven. So the aluminum foil seemed to give us one more satellite of, uh, connection with our Phantom. So um, give it a shot, give it a try yourself, and see what happens for you. I'm Justin Davis with Drone Camps RC. Please click subscribe.